I want to change my personal concept. I wanted to manifest more in my life. I saw so many videos about manifestation, how to attract what I wanted in my life. And I realized in order to elevate my frequency to what I wanted, I had to become that within myself to attract it to me. And when I saw videos on changing your personal concept, what my personal concept is, aligning my personal concept with the manifestations that I wanted, I realized that that is the key. To attract the things that we want, we have to align ourselves with the vibration of those things. And that comes with changing our personal concept into the person that is aligned with what we want. We change our personal concept. We change our lives. We change our realities. We then, in return, get the things that we want by becoming the things that we want, by existing and showing up 100% of the time as what we want. In this video, I'm going to talk about how and why I changed my personal concept and what I project my future to be. I reached a point where I was so tired of waking up not feeling like myself when I looked in the mirror. Better yet, I think this is the year that I finally get serious about the life that I want to lead. Not just for me or the legacy that I want to leave behind, but for God's will. And I feel what better way to do that if I show up authentically, make that my intention, and execute with so much conviction, so much audacity, that in the end, I leave life in satisfaction knowing that I gave it my all. This interests me so much. I saw so many people on social media talking about this and how it changed their reality. And I thought, hmm, I wanna change my reality. Maybe if I use these practices, I'll have the ability to intentionally make the things that I want happen. Instead of just screaming and yelling my manifestations to the full moon, I'll actually do a little bit more administrative work within my own life and align myself with the things that I want by showing up 100%. In my day-to-day, I feel like I'm reaching a dead end in my life. My job obviously isn't giving me a strong foundation to have a fighting chance in this economy. And working harder is just really not an option because I work hard enough. Doing anything more is maybe sending me in the direction of a mental health institution than it is the life that I actually want for myself. So I think this type of work in the long run will be worth it for me. I teach in fitness where I feel like it's such a dead end. And with this economy, there's no way that I'm able to really live a a life and they expect me to work harder when of course they're not paying me to do that so they want me to work 10 times harder to do the same thing just to barely make it by I'm not going for the shit anymore and it's caused me a lot of discomfort in my life things that used to be okay like if before I was just kind of barely making it now with this economy I'm like not Maybe if I focus more of my energy on developing a new personal concept, I will be able to move more in the direction of my passions, my artistic and divine abilities of being a communicator, thus bringing me closer to my fate and in a higher timeline for my life and the things that I want. I obviously have nothing to lose. So let's begin. To simplify all of this, how your ideal self and your real self align is important to the development of your self-esteem. There's three parts of your self-concept. Your ideal self, your vision, your ambition, and who you want to be. Your real self, how you currently see yourself in the world. And your self-esteem, how much worth and value that you have for yourself. 
bottom line, when you subtract the distance between where you are now, who you are now, with where and who you want to be in the future, you're basically aligning yourself with your manifestations. And when those two are congruent and they're equal, of course you're going to attract the things that you want. It's simple but it takes you doing the work and i think that's where so many people kind of get flustered they say what they want and then they wait for it as if it's going to fall out of the sky and it's like you align yourself with miracles of what you want to attract when you are ready for those things if I want to be a performer, if I want to be a speaker, if I want to be anything and I'm not preparing myself to do those things in the here and now, how can I convince the universe that that is what I actually want? How can I convince the universe that that is something that's for me? So to describe my ideal self, and this is me speaking for my personal me, myself, I see myself as a speaker an entertainer, a healer, an actress, a personal brand of someone that exudes hope, confidence, and boundless opportunities. I see myself existing in a life and expanding on my gifts and living in my truth and delighting in all that God has to offer me and offer the world by just showing up as a humble servant and just being my real self like you know like just being the vibe i don't know i think my real self feels like i'm just an aspiring something it's like i have always felt like i was aspiring to be something and i just want to arrive i just want to be that already like how much work do i need to put in to be that already and maybe i'm going a little bit ahead of myself but I'm just still in the season of having to sacrifice so much of my time to survive. I'm busy, but not busy in a way that is the right things for my life and my passions. I'm a fitness instructor. That's great, right? I have this job, but that is a dead end for me. And I know that, but I still have to show up as that. I'm kind, I'm genuine, but I'm also masking in 90% of my interactions because I work six days out of the week, forcing myself to have conversations that I could care less about because they're pertaining to my job. And because I'm working to live and it's not fulfilling me in most ways, I feel blessed that I'm able-bodied enough as a human to do the work that I do but I have to give my per myself permission to be honest about what I feel. And I'm honestly tired. I'm exhausted. And I have to change that. My self-esteem is interesting because this is something that, of course, I and everyone has had to work on. And I had to do a lot of deep work because my confidence was always something that was easy to fake and easy to perform in. But genuinely, I struggled with self-worth growing up because it's something that you have to feel. No one teaches you your worth. That's something you either have for yourself by experience or you don't. And it just takes something that you develop over time. And I'm not going to judge my younger self for my inability to have a strong self-worth for myself because I just did not know. But... I always thought that how a person treated me was a reflection of what I was worth. And that was all wrong, obviously. I define my worth. I am an heir to the Most High God. And I truly feel that. I feel that within my bones. The entire universe is at my disposal. I truly feel that. A person unable to meet my needs is a representation of them, not what I require. And God has done such a good job at supplying me with everything that I need that it would be ridiculous of me to assume someone on this earth would ever compare or be up for the task of genuinely providing for me in a real way. I know what I am. 
I know my power so much that I've been hated for it. It took me a while to discover this as a power, but I always kind of knew it was from very young. Like I, I knew my influence. I knew how much I affected people emotionally, mentally. I could really do either really great work or a lot of damage if I didn't have control. I see myself as a leader, not because I'm bossy, because I used to be, but because I'm personable enough and emotionally intelligent enough to have empathy and understand now. I had to grow to that person though. And because I've done so much growth, I acknowledge that in the way that I treat myself. Now I'm reaching a point where it's bigger than me in such a real way that I can't not show up. So yeah, I know that was very loaded, but that's, that's who I am. Positive self-concept examples, which are very important and things that you should tell yourself. So in your spare time, I want you to write down ideal self, real self, and self-esteem. Ask yourself, what is the vision that you have for your life, for your future? Who do you want to become? After that, write who you are now as your real self. And then on this last one, ask yourself how much you value yourself. You can pause it, take some time, like take a little drink, and really sit down and write this down. That's what I had to do, or I put it in my notes. Like I really wanted to get to this work and it takes some, some homework and it's worth it, trust me. Because once you hear your thoughts, the way that you think about yourself, this total view of yourself, once you see it on paper or you see it in front of your eyes that this is you, it makes things so much more clear. You kind of release a little bit of tension. Maybe you've never even asked yourself these things before. Maybe no one in your life has given you the time to actually do this. So I wanna do this with you because it's so important. I never did this before this video. So I'm like, hmm, it was very interesting when I, when I wrote this down. But in my positive self-concept examples, and when you do this for yourself, you start off the sentence, the first couple of chunks, and then you finish it off with what you feel. For example, I believe I can make a difference in dot 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 i put i believe i can make a difference in the world by being authentic and vulnerable i love communicating and being of service in that way i want to be the friend to myself that i never had and be that friend to others i feel on par with others that are dot 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 I feel on par with others that are on the journey to dedicating their lives to consciously shifting our culture in a positive way. Consciously shifting the conversations that are happening into ways that take us to different dimensions within ourselves so that we truly discover who we are as human beings. The next one is, I receive compliments without shame because dot dot dot. I receive compliments without shame because I know what my Heavenly Father has called me to become in this world. I have a willingness and readiness for dot dot dot. I have a willingness and readiness to work on myself and resolve unhelpful behaviors because I want my journey to be an example of the power that we possess as human beings. This self-concept journal practice has been the most powerful journaling experience that I've had in a very long time because I'm able to hear exactly what I want, write it down with no limitations, no opinion outside of myself telling me that I'm not that. This forces you to see you as who you are and who you want to be. 
It's up to you to do the job to bridge the gaps. And when you are in the process of doing that, get real with yourself about the things that are holding you back. This is so refreshing. And this goes into giving myself permission and healing old wounds because for so long, I've allowed myself to exist in kind of just skating by through life. And if I'm being honest, there's so much work to be done. So now the conversation that I have with myself is I have, I give myself permission to overachieve. I give myself permission to go above and beyond for myself. If I've been dedicating so many years of my life um, to a business, to a company, to whoever, so that they can go on vacations for a month, I have the right to do that for myself. It's only a slap in the face if I choose not to. And I can't get mad at anybody else but for not showing up for myself. And I, I don't know, it makes me really emotional because I feel so grateful to be here and to be given this opportunity and this chance at life. I don't want to waste it. And I can't wait for this next chapter in my life, what this year will entail with this new awareness that I have about who I want to become, who I am, and just overall what I deserve. So I hope this video jumpstarts you into getting curious about your self-concept. And this is the key to manifestation because there's not a stone that you can hold in your hand. Although God made stones, there's great stones out there. I'm not saying that they don't have things that could help you. There's not a moon water beverage that you can drink. There's not a letter that you can burn to the moon that will e equal the results that you will get by internally changing your mind into the person that you actually want to be because that's the thing that takes work it's going to take time but you know you're investing all of that time and energy into something that will give you results in the long run it'll be trial and error not every day is going to be perfect but consistency being audacious in the things that you actually want giving yourself permission to show up 100% of the time and being real about the things that are holding you back. It's, that's all. For example, I thought that showing my personal concept, before this whole thing happened, I thought that my personal concept was like changing my personal appearance. I was like, I'm gonna cut my hair. I'm gonna cut my hair, I'm gonna get some new clothes so I can feel like the person. It's like, all of those things are great and I, cut, and I love my haircut, right? Love it down. But you really don't, all of that is a distraction. Really, you can show up to be this person that you need to be without all of the access things. Now, having a costume, especially as an actress, I love having wardrobe because it makes me also show up in a, it gives me a little bit more oomph. I feel like the character that I want to become. And this haircut did that. But at the same time, if I didn't have access to it, I wouldn't let it stop me. So I can't continue to use my outside appearance as an excuse anymore. And um, yeah, that's all I have for today tonight i hope you enjoy this video please let me know if you're interested in changing your self-concept and if you feel like that's something that will help you get closer to your manifestations i am on this journey with you girl and i'm starting from square one i'm starting this video because i'm starting from square one and the more of it is you see the more consistent you see that i am being about it so thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next one